What's up, modern steaders? Today, the sun's out, at least for now. We're gonna be working on putting all the soffit buds up, and hopefully we can get all the eave, eave trim finished up here in the chicken coop. And maybe we can get a little bit more done. We only got a few hours to work on it again today. It's nice out, so things are looking good. You guys did really good guessing the other day in the other video. Justin Rhodes and family with the Great American Farm Tour. is supposed to be swinging up here in a few weeks, I was told. So I got the phone call. So go on over to Justin's website, tell him hi, and you're looking forward to seeing them visit Lumna Acres. We have a lot of stuff going on right now at Lumna Acres. I'm trying to keep you guys all in the loop. We got the farm tour that's supposed to be coming in a few weeks. We don't know when. We got all the chicks getting ready to go out. This Saturday we go and pick up our two piglets. The broody hen should be hatching her chick. We are using the same board as we are the siding for this trim. We just got it flipped around so it's the smooth side showing. So it'll give a little bit of a different look to it, which I think will be kind of cool. Believe it or not, I'm actually starting to get warm. I have to take my sweatshirt off. Nice. Pretty neat how useful some clamps can be. I clamped my board this end on that end of my stand and now I got a workbench. I cut my chalk line out with my jigsaw so it's gonna be vibrating pretty good. My clamps will hold it in place for me. Now the true test, let's see how we did. This might be fun trying to get this up in its place by ourselves, but well, we always get it. Nice! I like that. Now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'll be back. So I just got another phone call. I'm not making this stuff up, guys. I'm telling you, it's just been crazy here. Good news, bad news on the phone call. Bad news is, is we're supposed to be getting like an inch of rain this Sunday again, and it's gonna be cold all next week and rainy. So the pig farmer called us and said, He'd like to keep the pigs for one more week so we can get them next weekend. And if we really want to, we can go pick up the piglets, but just for the health of them having two baby piglets out on their own. They're not gonna be able to keep themselves as warm as if they're in a big bunch. Oh, well, I think we're gonna wait another week. We'll go get them the following weekend. I don't know if you've noticed, but I got my vest back on. The sky's gray again. It got cold. We had to sun out for maybe a half hour or so. looking pretty good, right? You like that? <laughs> kind of crazy how long the project's taken, but I think it'll be a nice coop when it's all done. And we know it'll last a while. Hey, 
Perfect. Oh, perfect. Like a glove. It's going to be a lot of fun trying to figure out this angle on the long boards. Might take some time and some head scratching. Yummy. To try to figure out the best way to cut this angle on a long board, what I did is I started with this board and I've just been tracing another board until it gets shorter and shorter. And now I gotta have a long line and I gotta kinda freehand it on the table saw and try to get it correct. Probably not the safest way to do it, but it's one way that works. So I just try to line this line up straight with my blade I like that. So now the fun part's gonna be going over to the other side and getting to do it again. I'm just gonna trace the template. Do the same thing for this. And now comes the fun part, doing it on the table saw with a longer piece. I don't know if that's the best way of doing it, but that's the way I taught myself how to do it when we built the inside of the house. There, that did it. I like it. All right guys, last piece on this side at least. Put a little bit of glue on this and see if it fits. <sighs> nice. I'm happy with that. Looks good. I'll put a small little trim board up after. Yeah, looks good. One side's done. Sorry about that guys, I forgot to turn the camera on. I'm gonna try to give it a push today and get this gable end all up, all the way to the peak. Once we get this project all done, we're gonna have to figure out the garden situation this year. Sure have had a lot of rain and it hasn't warmed up. Well, the soil is still very cold, which isn't a good thing either. So we'll have to see how all that goes. Now we're not doing a window or anything on this side because if we ever want to have rabbits again, this would make a great wall on the inside to have the rabbit hutches on. We prefer chicken meat over rabbit meat. While we were living in the suburbs of Massachusetts, we were raising rabbits for meat. Because it was easier to have those out on pasture than it was for chickens. Now that we can raise meat birds again, we prefer them but I miss the rabbit manure. That made some awesome compost and fertilizer for all the gardens. So, if we got rabbits again, that's why we would get them. It's basically for all the manure, so I don't know if we should bother getting them. We could get them, breed them, 
and raise them up to sell them for pets. Or do we just not get any at this point? So we're just gonna wait and see what happens. But if we decide to get them again, we have a place for them to go. You gotta love lithium batteries, they just stop all of a sudden. Uh, yep, time for a new battery. Like a glove, guys. Like a glove again. You guys are such great helpers. Loving it. Nice. That looks good. I'm pretty confident this time it should do it. Let's test it before we put some glue up. Yeah, we'll get it. I don't want to push it in too hard right now. I don't know guys, how good are we? What do you think? No way. Yeah. Let me get it back out. Sweet. I like it, guys. I like it. What do you think? That's all for today, guys. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the series, share it. It really helps our channel grow. And we thank you guys for sharing the video and subscribing. We just hit 4,000 subscribers a couple of days ago, and you guys have made that possible. So we want to thank you. Go on over to Justin Rhodes' YouTube channel. Say hello over there for him. And leave in the comments down below what you think we should name our chicken coop. We'll see you right back here tomorrow, guys, at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.